Yes. Should TP be less than TQ or? It is supposed to be this level. TP is supposed to be less than TQ. So you are saying you should spend more time in n grams? No. You see, actually, when there, are, mm, when there are no n grams, you take a peaceful decision. When there are n grams, the file is just pulled this side and that side and that side, and ego just, just like that ego decides. Ego is not ready to wait. Ego is not ready to look into the matter completely. See, understand, it's actually the other way. The more n grams, the less time, because you are completely in confusion. The number of thoughts, when the number of thoughts is too much, that you need to understand one simple concept. In Vedic system, we measure the time psychologically, not chronologically. In Vedic system, chana, one, moment, one unit of time is calculated as a gap between one thought and the other thought. It is not one second. In the western system, time is measured chronologically. One second is one unit. In the eastern system, time is measured as psychological thing. It is a gap between one thought and the other thought. If you are restless, one, chana for one unit of time for you is microsecond. If you are peaceful, you can even, uh, the one unit of time for you is a, one second for you is one year. Let me give you this example. If you are sitting with somebody, your friend with whom you feel comfortable, even if two, three hour, hours passes, you will not feel time has passed. Suddenly you will realize, oh, what happened? How did I lose myself? How time passed? If you are sitting with somebody who is boring, <laughs> with whom you don't feel comfortable, Every five minutes you will see the watch and you will think, watch has stopped or what? <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> so time is measured psychologically in Vedic system. We don't measure the time chronologically. Chana, chana is the one unit of time in Vedic system. We say chana is not one second. It's a gap between one thought and the other thought. So if the, there are less engrams, Decisions are taken peacefully in a relaxed way. If there are more engrams, you just like the decide for just out of confusion. You don't even decide. Somebody else decides who is sitting in these chairs. These guys decide. You don't even, the file never reaches CEO. Before the file reaching the CEO itself, so many opinions, CEO is completely confused. He says, do whatever you want. Don't bring it to me. He just goes for golf. <laughs> That's the way things happen. Usually, usually the good things you don't store. <laughs> Look into your life. If you start writing all your painful memories in one paper, all your joyful memories in one paper, tell me honestly, which will be long? What do you think, which will be more uh, strong? Whatever is good experience or good engram, you don't give so much of importance to it. Actually, if you give time or if you give energy to the good engrams, I will be happy. But we don't do that. We don't do that. Generally, even when you remember, if you remember a painful memory, immediately you can see the pain in your stomach, in your whole body, you can feel it, but when you remember something joyful, you don't feel the whole, with the whole body, you don't experience it with the whole body, you don't carry the blissful memories so strongly, that's a big problem. And one more thing, when you are undergoing some pain, you know your boundary clearly. When you are in bliss, you are just boundaryless. You are in ecstasy. You can, in, you can inscribe things. You can inscribe only on stones, not on water. When you are blissful, you are like a water flowing. Nothing is inscribed. Nothing is engraved. But when you are suffering, you are like a stone. Everything is engraved. You carry the memory.
I have some cathars, I have developed a technology to remove this negative engrams from our inner space which I call catharsis meditation techniques. If you can, you can download from our website and practice or you can do the, there is a program called Libelist program. Some way you can practice some meditation. See there is a technique just to create sounds without any meaning. Just creating a sound, it is, I call it as a kriya, means cleansing process. Just creating sounds without any meaning. Technically when you do this as a uh, technique, simply the negative memories or the painful memories which you have created in you, just you are relieved from it. You can try whether some LBP techniques, life bliss program techniques or you can download from the website and practice some meditation techniques that can completely relieve you from these engraved memories. That is the only way. Of course, one more thing, if you clean yourself, if you work on yourself to remove the negative engrams, automatically you will have the intelligence how to protect yourself from further collection, how to protect yourself from further acquiring the negative engrams. Unless you clean at least once, you will not have the intelligence how to protect yourself. If you just try to protect yourself, you can't do because you can't run away to Himalayas. You can't go and sit in a cave. You are working, you are in the society. You have to protect yourself. If before protecting, you need cleaning. If you work on cleaning, automatically you will have intelligence how to protect yourself. You will know at which situation, at what point, in what level, with, in what situations I start collecting, in what situations I am depressed, which throws me back into that same low mood, why I fall again and again into that same low mood. You will be able to identify once you work on this past engrams or the past samskaras. Hmm. Sir, some of these engrams, hmm. they, they could be negative but they are like a learning experience based on some past mistakes you did. Hmm. So, they, they, they could ah. be a good, you know, to keep hmm. and, you know, you use them for your future decisions. Please be very clear, whatever lessons you learn, it is completely digested, it never stays as a samskara. It becomes part of your consciousness. If you have learnt something from some experience, it will become simply part of your consciousness. You will not suffer by the 10 gram. Whatever has not become part of your being, some incident has happened, you are not able to digest. Only those things are engraved as a memory. If it becomes, if, if you understand a lesson from that uh, incident, if you learn the lesson, it will not be an engram, it will just become part of your being. It will just enrich your being. That's why I say, sometime if you face even your suffering consciously, that will become a teacher. Your suffering or pain can teach you much more than anybody else, anything else. Of course, we don't face our suffering or pain consciously. We always try to fight with them. We just try to find out who created it. We never f try to think why I created for myself. Please understand, nobody can hurt you, nobody can disturb, disturb you without your silent permission. Without your silent permission. Of course, in the yoga system, we go to one step further. I can make this statement, but of course it takes a lot of... Uh, we say even accidents are invited by us, even accidents, even accidents are invited by us. Of course, it takes a lot of time if I, um, I do not think that I will be able to explain completely. I will try just to present this idea. You can contemplate on this, you may be helped. If you have seen the movie, what the bleep do we know? You can understand, in that movie they beautifully explain. How the painful memories reproduce the same kind of painful memories inside our system 
and attracts painful incidents in our life. They continuously attract painful incidents in our life. That is what we say in yoga system. If you carry the negative samskaras, you attract accidents in your life. Even accidents are attracted by you. It is your responsibility. It may look very funny. Why, we, why should we attract accidents? We may have some vested interests. Many times, we do have our, own, our vested interests in our suffering. Unconsciously, we may not know exactly, but we do have our vested interests in our sufferings. First thing, not only listening to yourself, let your mind do whatever it wants. It will run here and there, it will start thinking this and that. Let it be lost. Just decide for next 20 minutes, I will not move from this place. That is all, that is enough. Every day if you can sit for 20 minutes with this decision, within 10 days I tell you, simply your mind will become silent. The moment you sit, your mind will also sit. You may think, simply impossible Swamiji, no, 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 I tried for so many days, it never happens. Please be very clear, when you try, after 2-3 times your mind, when, uh, first time your, when your mind wants to say it wants to move, you say, no, I will be here. Second time when it says, alright, I can think. Third time, why I am sitting, you just move. You give way for your mind, then mind becomes strong. Then mind becomes strong. 10 days decide, for next 20 minutes I will not move from this place, I am going to sit with myself. For no reason. First 10 days you will find, you will feel, what is this, I am wasting 20 minutes, especially in this country, money is time. I am wasting 20 minutes. But after a month you will realize, that 20 minutes are the most wonderful time, are the best time, are the useful time, which you spend in your life. I tell you, spending few minutes with yourself, will simply improve the productivity, because your productivity suffers with the engrams only. The engrams completely tortures you. It just drains you completely. Your inner space is completely drained by the engrams. If you can work with these engrams, I tell you simply the productivity will, you see the quality of your consciousness and the productivity is directly related. You are not just a machine. If it is a computer, no problem. The consciousness has no place with the computer. The productivity of the machine is no way related to the consciousness. But you are not a machine, you are something more than a machine. Your consciousness plays a major role in your productivity. When your consciousness, when your inner space is pure, when your inner space is relaxed, if your inner space is peaceful, I tell you, the productivity will simply, it will multiply. And you yourself will feel the different dimension of your being. You will experience a different easeness are different kind of a depth or a different joy, what I call bliss. You will be just a different being. Working on your inner space is much more important. It is a basic need for your life. Yes. Yes. Habit. Habit is also from engraved memories only. Habit is a beautiful word. H A B I T. If you just remove H, a bit will be there. If you remove A, bit will be there. If you remove B, it will be there. Only when you remove the I, it will die. <laughs> <laughs> Habit is also from engraved memories only. And we all are we all know about the physical habits, like a drinking or smoking or coffee, we know all these habits. But we should know one more important thing about this habit. You have something called mental habits also. Morning 9.30, if you are habituated to fall into the low mood, the tension, stress of the office, even in the weekends, when you do not have to go to the office, exactly 9.30, you will have that same stress. You will have that same low mood. You will have that same feeling. 
you may remember again and again tell your mind no 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 today is week today is a saturday i don't have to go to the office relax even if you remain even if you remember even if you tell your mind again and again the mood will be same low mood you have not only physical habits mental habits also same way if you are if you are habituated to fall into the depression in the evenings exactly when the time comes whatever you do you will have that same low mood you will have that low mood so it is good to work on your mind little bit to remove this engraved memories so that your decision making will be more clear you will be more spontaneous see especially in the corporate field many of you are you many of you have to decide the unprecedented situations where less data is available you you have to decide you need something more than your logic on this space your inner space what i call intuition will tremendously help you to make decisions for unprecedented situations and where you don't have enough data where you need to use your being your inner space hmm. so how do you go about how do you go in no. working on this engrams working on this samskaras that's the only way when the inner space is empty when the inner space is cleaned only then the intuition can happen it's like a if this room is filled with furnitures if it uh, is filled with things people can't come inside you need to remove a little bit you need to empty this only then people can come inside same way you are already filled with too much of negative engrams one single thought is enough to raise so many negative engrams in you just as one thought if somebody says one word are you mad we shout at them and prove that we are mad <laughs> one word is enough to make us mad so much uh, simple one word if somebody says are you mad you can see your whole body burning you are totally imbalanced your eyes are burning you are ready to attack the person so much of engrams are awakened by single word single word can awaken so much of engrams what what do you mean by that word what do you mean what do you mean by, immediately we we are just ready to jump jump so much of engrams then how can you expect the intuition to happen intuition happens in a space where a complete silence or a beautiful peace exists so how do you make decisions when there is too much data i mean how do you train your mind to just look at one particular thing and focus on it you know there are situations where there is just too much information available and you are struggling to make a decision again easy. again you are again you are in the, you are in dilemma you are in dilemma again you are caught with the engrams see you are not able to take up some one decision means you are thinking what will be more beneficial for me this sir this sir this sir this sir this again it is struggling between the engrams struggling between the engrams if you can look just little beyond uh, for this one example two persons are playing chess if you are just watching if you are away from the game and if you are witnessing you will be able to make a better move then them the people who are playing you will know the better move and you will think what is this what they are doing they could have done this he could have done that but if you are playing you will not be able to make the decision because your inner space is filled with stress the uh, goal or the idea that you have to achieve you have, the very stress takes away the peace the very stress takes away the power of intuition you continue to struggle with a little bit of peace with a little bit of i can say silence in your inner space you will be able to look beyond your fear and greed if you can look things beyond your fear and greed i tell you you will be more productive you will achieve what you want to achieve in a much more simple way in a much more beautiful way without so much of struggle there are some things which leads you to a deep satisfaction even if it does not give you the social 
uh, benefits, but there are some things even if it gives social benefits, you feel totally drained, you feel you have wasted your life. Here if you can work on the engrams, you will have the tremendous satisfaction in, in the inner space and you will achieve what has to be achieved in the society.